hello everybody welcome to today's tutorial video and we are going to be taking a little look at fax call and how you install it into a server as well as send it up so pretty much what you want to do is you want to head over to my scripts website 5m forums or the releases page on github those are the three places available um where you can download stuff so um, they're all on different servers, obviously, you know, you've got the direct download here, which comes from my server, um, which is always up, that's never down unless there's a massive issue with it. I forgot to change something up there. Anyway, um, so you want to go to the fax call page, just here, and then you go to the latest version, and you want to download, we're going to download the latest version, which is 1.1, 1 .1. so we're going to just direct download that to make it nice and fast. The same thing would happen if you were to go to here, or take you to GitHub. Um, which will take you to here, and then you can just download the zip there. Right. Thank you. Right. So, once you've got that downloaded, we want to just go into a little downloads folder here, and we'll just drag it to the desktop, easy access today. Right. So once you have your downloaded file, fax core, um, just open that and get rid of the ads and whatnot. I did not know that folder was still there. Whoops. Anyway, so you should have this folder here. It has the README, the perms, and the license, and the fax core folder. Now the folder is the resource itself. Everything out here, um, you pretty much don't need except for the perms.config, which is a vital piece as it has everything for permissions and stuff like that. So what you want to do is you want to open up your way of accessing your server, whether it be a console, um, file browser like this, or if it's through like a hosting provider, um, you should know how to upload stuff. Um, you want to head to your server, go into server data, and this is where you want to place the perms.config that comes in the download, drag and drop it over. And then you simply want to go into here to the server.config, scroll down to where it says nested configs, or you can just add it in at the bottom if you don't have all this common to that stuff. And we're going to put a line here, which is available on the GitHub under the wiki section. And then you just go to set up fax core. And it is this bit right here. Um, if I can copy that G, there'll be, I'm not going to, why don't you let me? Right, we'll just add the G. It's not going to let me copy it. So then you would go into your server.config and just add that in there and add that G save that now no matter what you do do not go to your start resources list and add start fax call that's going to give you errors and the reason why we're not doing that and it says it in capital letters there bold text so please don't just ignore that um it's very vital that you don't put it in there because that is actually in the perbs.config where it checks that it's actually all running properly and everything like that in the script, otherwise you might get an error that pops out. Um, and if you don't have the perms.config file here, um, and you've added start fax core into the server.config and haven't followed this, you'll get an error spitting out in console saying the following. Actually, we'll just put the resource in first. So, we can put the resource in, just head into your resource folder, something like this it should look like, and then we just drag this whole folder over, into here and we'll just let that upload. Alright, so here is where I'll give you that example. So if I were to go into here as a user making a mistake, I'll call it and add start fax core, it should come up with a message in the console. Um, so we'll just quickly get rid of perms.config for now. Then if you were to start up the server, it should spit out an error, it will say it's on the latest version, but then permissions are not set up correctly. So that's what it will spit out to you, um, if you don't have that. So we'll just edit this back real quick, and head back on track of the tutorial. Alright, so, once you have dragged your perms.config over here, into where your server config is, and added that line into your server.config, saying... Um, to execute perms.config. Once you've got that, make sure your resource is in here. And it's very, extremely, highly, massively vital 
that you do not edit, edit any of these files, you don't need to. You can edit everything in the config.lua from the blacklisted vehicle models to the mess, uh, weapons, peds, and even the messages. Um, most of them just set to that for now. And I got a few demo sort of vehicles and whatnot in here. So we're going to um, add ourselves as an owner. So you pretty much got the resource installed. If we were to set up server right now, we would not get any errors whatsoever. Fact score is pretty much ready to use. And I'll log into the server and show you guys what it will look like um, before you've added anything in. Um, so if we go into here real quick, and I'm just going to have a look at uh, the config.lua um, guests, have the car blacklist, police fall rhino, um, everything like that. When adding stuff into this file, I will say it now, and I might say it again later, make sure this is at the end of every line except for the very last one. Um, so if I were to add something in here, I would need to add a comma, then I would need to go uh, FBI2, and then I wouldn't put a comma because it's the very last line, alright? Alright, so if we connect to the server right now, it should connect no problems whatsoever, and we'll let that do its thing. So, adding yourself to permissions is easy. But it can be also known because it's ace perms, and until I figure out a way so we can refresh them um, by using like a text file or something, and then you have to put them in later into the perms.config, that would be great if we could just, you know, add admin or add guest, whatever, add member. Um, but if we um, will add ourselves into the config here, this config can be very confusing at first. Fix my OCD. You don't touch anything up here. As it says, do not touch this section. Do not touch. Start editing below. Don't have the same ID in two groups. So I logged in. It says you're a guest. Um, so then if I go and spawn Police 4, I think it was, it's going to kick me out of that vehicle straight away and say this vehicle's blacklisted and the weapon should work. Everything should work. Um, all weapons, all guns. This weapon is blacklisted. You can't even, you can't even like spam and try, because I updated the script so it just deletes before you are actually able to do anything with this sort of stuff. Um, I'm not too sure if the tanks work because I've never tested it properly, but we will. So tanks should be by default. You can still just shoot it, but I can always add that in later. All right, so let's get out of that. We don't want that, we're going to quickly shut down the server. Back on track to the installation and setting up yourself as a user. So what you want to do is get your Steam Hex ID. If you don't know how to do that, um, I'll leave a link down below. I don't know how long that link will be valid for because this is a closed community um, as of now. Um, so if we go into here, I'll add this forum link for you guys. You follow this thing here, you go to CMIO, copy URL, blah 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 blah, to get your hex. Um, and once you get your hex, you can add yourself as an admin, so, or whatever rank you want to add someone as. You can do this to anyone you would like. So if I want to add myself to senior admin, I can go ahead and do that. You don't need to take people off the guest list, and you cannot have the same ID in two spots. Um, very good way that I generally organise it is I'll just chuck my name there and then say if Bill had that we could put Bill here and then you know you can actually see if instead of reading all these numbers and whatnot in the uh, hexadecimals um, so I cannot be a member three um, and a senior admin Otherwise, the script is just going to probably fault out, or you won't get any permissions at all. Um, so, I'm a senior admin, and if you want to add more people, all you simply do is you can copy this line, copy Bill's line, go down here, paste a new line, don't know what I did, I've a bit of space there. And then I can change that, and I can say it's Jill's ID. And you can just keep copy, copy, pasting until 
never rains. All right. So that's a, uh, that's the perms pretty much set up. So if we go and launch a server again, it's going to load up. It's on the latest version. If it's not on the latest version, it will tell you. Um, so there's no need to go around messing with stuff. As I said before, you don't need to mess with any of these things. Nothing in these folders at, at all. It's all set into the config. And if there's something you think I should add them to the config, let me know on the 5M forums, in my Discord, whatever, and I'll add it into the config for you. But I've pretty much got everything in here um, that works. I even gave you guys a little resource at the bottom of this. If you don't know how to get these gun models, the car models, or the ped models, scroll all the way to the bottom and there's links to all three of those from the 5M wiki. And that's how you can do that. So we'll just quickly load to the server and I'll be right back. Hello, guys, I am back, and as you see, as it says in chat, you are a senior admin now, um, as I added myself to that group. So, I could spawn in a tank now, because that's not blacklisted to senior admins. So, the tank is only whitelisted for the groups that specified as that. Um, so it's, it's only set on guests by default. Um, you can always, you always change that to whatever you want. Um... But something that is blacklisted for uh, senior admins, because I don't like my senior admins touching these things, is Police 2. I don't want, I don't want senior admins in that sort of stuff, that's ridiculous. So if I were to spawn Police 2, it would kick me out of it. That's an easy... So that's pretty much how you set up. Um, fax core and all the configs for it, so... You should be pretty much done. If you have any more errors, feel free to join my Discord. That's also in the description below. And um, ask on the 5M forums. Just ask. Don't be afraid to ask. I'll help you to the best I can. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And for a uh, highlight video, resource highlight video, still getting used to the term, um, click the links on screen that are about to show up in the outro. Thank you guys for watching. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Oh, don't fall down.